Okay, what are we doing today? That's the questions. How are we going to do it? Where are we going to do it? We all know it's going to be right here over at Southwest, so. We're going to go ahead and install, I don't know if you can see all that, can you see all that in the here, there's a change, okay, can you see that now, there you go, that's what we're looking at, what you see here is a change, a change in lifestyle, it's from manual steering to power steering, and what we're going to do is we're going to change out the manual rack to a power steering rack. And uh, this goes out to all our uh, street rod owners out there that uh, decided they wanted uh, power steering instead of uh, manual steering when they built their cars. They should have put the power steering on in the first place. Okay? Power steering is the way to go. If you are building a street rod, whether it's a fiberglass kit car or a steel body car or a hot rod or a lead sled or whatever, Power steering is the way to go. If you have a car that you just purchased and it has manual steering on it, and it's a pain in the ass to turn, and you're starting to feel the muscles grow in your arms like pumped by the sailor man, power steering is the way to go. So, what you're gonna do is you're gonna get a power steering pump. Now, the owner decided he wanted a nice chrome one. Okay, chrome is good, chrome is nice. Okay, so you gotta buy your power steering pump. Now the problem we have is we're putting a Mustang 2 rack in this car. If you look right here, okay. That's brand new, rebuilt, reconditioned, brand new, rebuilt, reconditioned, okay. The problem we have now, okay, now this is important. This is where we start getting into the hard stuff. When you install this in your car, okay, and what's gonna happen with the power rack, your steering is gonna take off on you at a variable high speed, okay? It's gonna go bam, okay? When you turn your engine on, your steering wheel will take off, okay? And then it'll start going bam, bam, mm, 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 ooh, ah, ah, e, 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 ooh, 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 ah, ah. Okay, why is that? Let me tell you why that is. Because our General Motors, okay, pump is pressing, putting out too much high volume pressure for our Mustang 2 rack, okay? So what we gotta do to fix that, let me get that off, let me do that again. Mustang 2 rack, okay? So what we gotta do to fix that, we have to go ahead and purchase us a valve kit, and this is just one company that sells them. Okay, I'm letting you read that so you know what you're looking at. Now what this is, this is a pressure valve kit. What this does, this replaces the valve, the pressure. This will fix the pressure in our pump, okay? It will downsize the pressure. Uh, what can I say here? Lower the volume, okay? Lowers the pressure so it will be equal to what our pump requires. Now where that valve is uh, at is right behind Right here, see? It's behind that big nut right there. So the first thing you want to do, you want to go ahead and knock that baby out of there, see? Get the right socket. So you get the socket that fits, okay? And if you don't have an impact, get your buddy to hold that thing and put a lot of brute force on it, okay? While you're taking it off. What we're gonna do is bump it loose. Take that out. Now I'm gonna open my valve kit. I'm gonna show you this, okay? I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Do not lose any parts in your valve kit. All it consists of is a valve housing and washers, okay? See there? All right. Now what I do, it's actually designed. Let me get that out of there. To use the directions. You look very close, see? 
Here's the directions how to put it in. It's a very explanatory system. It's a nice pictorial system. Okay. And that's the valve that we are working on. All right. So you want to go ahead and take that off. And the first thing you want to do, make sure you have yourself a magnet. Okay, get all the dirt off your magnet so it's clean. You want to go ahead and get your flow valve. I cut on them. I cut on them. You want to go ahead and get your flow valve out of the pump. Now, if you look real close, you can see, if you look real close, see right there? Okay, you look back, there you go. We got to take that nut off of the flow valve. That is where our washers go. That's where we're going to put our washers. So, when you take this out, you want to be very cautious because there is a spring inside that valve that we do not what the fuck is going on? Huh. Fucking rubber gloves. There's a spring in there that we do not want to lose. See? Very important. Take your time and take that off. Leave everything. So you be very careful not to tip over the valve. There's a lot of external internal parts in that that you don't want to lose, such as a little ball bearing, there's a pin and a spring. Be very careful not to tip that over. Now, the next thing you do, okay, is you get your little washers, which are your shims. And a Mustang rack requires approximately a thousand pounds of pressure. So what we're going to do is look at our chart over here, and it's going to tell you, okay, the first shim, if you can see that. Okay, let me get it zoomed in. There you go. You can see the pressure of every shim that you put on there. And you can also see that it tells you exactly what a Mustang rack takes. Now Mustang racks are the most common use for these valves because that's usually what everybody changes their steering over to. So we're gonna put three on there. That's gonna equal out, no, we're gonna put, uh, yeah, three shims will equal 1,000 PSI. So I got my three shims. Go ahead, with our valve standing up straight, Go ahead and reinstall. Our 7 sixteenths nut back on. Our valve, just like so. Go ahead, make sure there's no trash on your valve. Stick your valve back into the body. Make sure it slides in there. There's a spring in there. Make sure that the spring is working properly. Then, if your O-ring, this is a brand new pump, so our O-ring is good. Okay, our kit actually comes with a brand new O-ring. So that's really nice of them to do that. So I'm not going to replace it because that's a brand new one on there. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and put my valve back in the pump. So, bump it on there and it's I'm going to go ahead and cover my uh, line back up. Now, I went ahead and I converted my power steering pump into a Mustang rack pump. That's how easy it is. That's how affordable it is. And that's how convenient it is. Now, I prefer to have power steering and I'm telling you it makes a 100% difference. You can do this at home. It's very simple. All right, It's common sense and it's easy to do. This video is mainly consisted of showing you how to convert your power steering pump to work with a power with a Mustang power rack. Okay, so instead of me sitting here bullshitting and uh, killing time, uh, you already learned how to do that and you learned what the kit was for. So maybe I ought to get my end of the job done and get my fucking uh, ass in gear. This is Pete. Take it easy. We're always here, we're working, we're getting her done. Why don't you fucking do the same thing, okay? Get your ass out there, pop the hood open, and do what you're supposed to be doing, all right? You know who I'm talking to, don't you, pal? Exactly, that's right.